Hey everyone, welcome back to another Platinum video. And uh, today we are Platinuming Watch Dogs 1. You're probably wondering, why are you Platinuming Watch Dogs 1 in <laughs> 2023? First of all, this game is a classic, and it can, be, it can be played whenever. And plus, I did Platinum Watch Dogs 2 in the beginning of the year, and I thought to myself, it's Watch Dogs 1, man, why not? And maybe uh, in the future I'll go on Platinum Watch Dogs Legion, but... That game is doo doo, and I don't think I want to play it. But here we are. That I mean, Watch Dogs 1, obviously. Um, before we start, I want to say I love this game. Amazing game. And I want to say thank you all for the support on the previous videos. It really means a lot. And I do want to plan on more games. I do have more games planned after Watch Dogs 1. Just letting you know, I do have way more games planned. This was even I was, this was even meant to be the game I was planning on doing this month. I just kind of came out of nowhere and I thought, why not just do it? But. I digress. We are going to get right on in to the Watch Dogs 1 Platinum. If you guys do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, appreciate it. Let's get right into it. I'll make you understand. That you'll never be free again. Alright, so before finishing the story, I had 17 out of the 40 trophies. Yeah, there are 40 trophies in this game. God, that's a lot. But basically, instead of finishing the story and then going for the trophy, like going and making the video, I actually started um, doing the trophies, some trophies before. And these were the online trophies. And I want to get them out of the way first because they were annoying. And I mean annoying. They were really annoying. And I want to shout out someone for helping me do these trophies. So I did one, uh, it's not in this video, but it was one I did actually solo during my uh, initial playthrough. But this person really helped me out do the, like, the next two trophies then, or the first two trophies. Um, someone I found on PSN profiles called Aaron Benson or Aaron, I don't know how they say the name, I'm sorry. They're the GOAT. They help me so much with the with these online trophies, and I really appreciate it. So uh, they haven't got any um socials, so uh, I just showed them some love in the comment section, guys. I'd appreciate it. But yeah, let's get on to the first trophy. So the first trophy I went and got was a uh, super highway, which is basically for completing ten public races. But one really annoying thing with this is that the fact no one plays races anymore. I don't know why. And they play all these other modes that just don't play races, so um, Aaron kind of kind of kindly helped me uh, do do this trophy, and it actually was kind of fun. And to be honest, and then some random guy joined, and he kind of was like my enemy the entire time. I just kind of wanted to get rid of him, but yeah, um, very actually, it's very easy platinum, um, very easy trophy. I meant to say, if you find someone who is going to be able to boost with you. Uh, if you don't, then I don't know. Maybe you have a chance of finding someone like I did, like another guy like we did, but. It's not that difficult, really. But not quite. A respectable run, though. After getting that trophy, I, went, um, I got the trophy Traced, which is for getting traced or tailed five times. And Aaron also helped me out with this one because it's really easy to do. You just gotta get tailed. You can get tailed by the same person, so it still counts. Doesn't have to do different people like some other trophies. Very easy one to do. And after doing that trophy, I went to go and get the trophy piggyback, which is for tailing 10 people. This one it can be do can be done whenever, man. It's really easy. It's probably one of the most one of the one of the easier ones to do without boosting. Um yeah, that means Aaron is not here. That's sad, but it is what it is. We we move on. But yeah, this one was really easy to do. It was just very simple. Just go into games, tell people, get it done. Yada yada yada. What is he up to? Good. I needed that. And 
And f- for now, that is the online. There is one more trophy for online, but I was online out when doing all those in, in the same time span. So I was kind of like, ah, see, I'm going back to story mode. To do the trophy, to go and get the trophy Darkness Looms, which is to do the um, Missing Persons uh, storyline. This one, I wanted to get out of the way because it creeped me out. I hated, I hated this, bro. Just, just look at this and tell me you want to get creeped out. Shit. Yeah, I I hated this. I also when you go there, it's music plays, it's creepy music. I I just can't I just can't do it. So me and so basically, once you get the, the all of the missing persons, you need to find this sick fuck. As Aiden puts it, yeah he, he yeah I felt no remorse killing this guy. I I won't admit I I felt no remorse. After killing that sick guy, I went and finished the story mode because I had to go and finish it and I have I have a reason to finish this game again. This amazing game. Oh, I wish I wish Watchers Legion was about Aiden again. That would have been so much better. But yeah. I finished the game, you get an easy trophy by doing that. Fucking show me! Come on. Make you sleep better at night. Kill the guy that killed your niece. And then right after finishing this amazing story, I decided to do the, the I mean, not dumb, it was actually pretty smart. It's just to go for one of those really annoying uh, trophies, which, I mean, they're not annoying, just more tedious, which is to basically uh, log in at every um, city hotspot. And there are 100 in the game. So it means I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth throughout the entire city. But I mean, I did have kind of fun doing it. I mean, I got to explore Chicago and I mean, I've never gone to Chicago before, so it's pretty cool. Is that that one mission? Is that that one um, objective in, in Watch Dogs 2 where you have to go around the city taking pictures? I got to explore San Francisco that way, so hey, it's pretty cool and, and a semi-easy trophy. So after doing that, I had to go for the escape loop trophy, which is basically for escaping 15 police ch chases. Um, I actually pro probably had escaped 15 police chases before I got it, so it kind of just popped randomly. I mean, it didn't mean I just did it all the 15 police chases then. It just means I was on there and I just didn't know. But yeah, it caught me off surprise. I had no clue I was about to finish it. Alright, time for a quick fire round. So now I'm going to show you me getting all of the investigation trophies. So the investigations are like side missions, but they are tied to criminal to actions. So like, we already did one, which was the, the, the weird guy. But now for the last for remaining ones, we have revoking client privileges, which is the human trafficking one. Peephole, which is for doing all privacy invasions. A uh, Saturday night special, which is for getting all the trade, the uh, like gun trade um, investigations done, and read only, which is doing all the QR investigations for uh, DeadSec. And then the last one you should get by doing the read only is getting um, they call him a vigilante because yes, because you finish all of the investigations. I'm pretty sure privacy invasion is not an investigation. I just think I have it there for some reason, but yeah, roll it, roll them all. Let's get it done. The buyers and shut down the auction. Best of all, Poppy and those girls are free now. I needed this win. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I guess they won't see it that way. Tobias? Yeah. Lose this number. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, done. We are grateful for your assistance, and we are sending you proper compensation. We will be watching.
And then after doing all the investigations, I decided to go for the hackification trophy, which is basically for successfully invading 10 people. This one is also not boostable, so I had to go into to real games and do this. I thought it was going to be difficult. There were some people who were really smart, some people were just dumb, and I got it done. It wasn't that hard. I just spent like uh, an hour and a half doing it. It wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun in, my, in a way. That's the way to do it. Then after that, I decided to go for every CTOS breach, which gives us the trophy system manager. If you don't know what CTOS breach is on screen right now, you can see you have to go find this thing, hack it, and it'll show you either five or four different other locations you have to go to in a, in a timed manner and then hack them all. Some of them were very annoying and some of them were like so easy. I even saved the easiest one for last without even knowing that it was the easiest one. But yeah, um, yeah, very easy to do. And then I decided to go for one of the most infamous trophies in this game. Well, more second infamous now since... It kind of got patched a long time ago, and it's not as hard as it used to be on launch day. But infamous nonetheless. There's another infamous trophy on this uh, not a list, but later on that is way worse. But this one is basically called Social Lubricant. It's for beating, th go to getting to level 10 with three different opponents. This one, I tell you right now, took me so long. I hate this trophy so much. Um. Um, the button ones, so the one you're seeing on the screen was not that bad, but there's, there's one where you have to like put your s little circle in these um, other circles and keep them there. That one, I oh, never again. Those were the worst ones. I even glitched out one. I think I've, I've, I think I show on the screen if I have the clip still. And it was just glitched out and I kept winning. It was, it was kind of funny, but yeah. It's not an easy trophy. It's annoying. Really annoying. Ever. Ever. Shut it off. And then after that, I decided to go for the last police or like scanning relate trophy, which is basically called scan proof. It's just for escaping a level five scan. Uh, this one was annoying, but yeah, I got it eventually. It wasn't after you learn after you start using jam comms, it kind of gets easier to do. If you didn't have jam comms and you weren't using a boat. I don't know how you would do this. This is just impossible at that point. And here we are on one of the most infamous trophy now. And one of the most stupidest RNG trophies to ever exist. Someone can back me up on that if you've done this platinum. Is called Full Disc Memory or something like that. Full Disc something. And it's called, it's basically for finding all 23 song sneak trophies, or um, songs, obviously. And I'm telling you right now, when I tell you this is RNG heavy, oh, it's too much, man. I was there for like hours, man, looking for these stupid songs. So some can be found for the story, some can be found by hacking people, some can be found in certain locations. But sometimes they won't show up, and you'll be there for hours looking and looking and looking, and you'll be like, when does it end? But bro, when I finally got it, I was feeling good about myself. Alright, time for some more speedrunning trophies because it's been too long. So after doing this, I went for the basis base trophy, which is for finding and completing every gang hideout. That one is not hard. They're actually very fun to do. I will admit, I actually had a lot of fun just stealthing around, killing them. Like, look at this. Bang, right on the head. But yeah, I really like um, 
the base in trophies. After that, I also went for uh, free wear, which is for unlocking every skill point in the skill tree, and you get skill points for finishing gang hideouts, so it was way easier. And also the last one, Road Rage, which is for doing every criminal convoy. Fun fact, in the last criminal convoy mission, you actually uh, kill one of the people from Obsturg Abstergo, which is a company in Assassin's Creed, and it also gets referenced in Assassin's Creed Origins. You see Aiden kill the guy. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool in my opinion. Alright, um, so right now I'm currently trying to go for a trophy called White Rabbit Object, I think. And basically, I need to like basically escape 15 police scans, and it's my second to last trophy I need to get. And it's really annoying me because police scans can be annoying. When I say annoying, they can be annoying. So currently, what I've got to do currently right now is I need to basically kill a bunch of people, and then once one of them calls the police, it will start as please scan and I've got to escape it, which is currently annoying. So I need to go find myself some jam jam con things and buy them and then by doing that I should be able to get it done. So I'll be with you guys once I finally get this trophy because it's gonna it's, it's annoying me. It's annoying me too much. Bro, why why did that trophy pop so late? I, I swear to you, right now, I did. I, I after that race finished, it just popped right now, and I'm about to go and do another police scan. Cause I thought I, I thought I needed one more police scan, but I guess that's it. One more trophy left. One trophy, man. Let's go. And so here we are on the final trophy, and this one is actually pretty easy. I had 30 out, 38 out of the 40 fixer contracts finished. And this one is for getting every single fixer contract finished, so all 40 finished. And then I would get the platinum. So without further ado, let's see my reaction to getting this sweet platinum trophy. Back here, man. And this guy behind me thinks he's smart. Get out. You do this, you get out. Oh. oh, done. That should be it, actually. I should get my trophy. End of the line. It popped. Platinum. 100% clear. Let's go. Oh my god. This. Tro this. this oh. All I can say for this game it's amazing. But the trophies. Some of them are just. Why? Some of them are just so, like. Why? But well, there it is, the Watch Dogs 1 Platinum Trophy. I hope you all did enjoy it. I'm so sorry that this video is 18 minutes long. I did not count on it being that long, but that's what happens when you have only like a little bit of trophies. And a lot of Platinum videos nowadays are like 20 minutes. I just tried to cut it down as short as I could make it. I didn't want it to be that long so people would actually watch it. But if you made it this far, please comment down below. Aiden Watch, Aiden Watch Dogs? I don't know. Comment that to see if and no one's done it. No one's ever actually commented that, so you know, hopefully someone actually does it. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Um comment down below what you want me to plan next. I'm already got one in hit my head, but I'm gonna do a poll and see what people want. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>